So I just started a new recording because I just did my first solo winter tot kill and I want to um I want to do like a little guide on it cuz it's actually really easy. Um and in terms of like XP and drops, I don't know about the drops. In terms of XP, it's definitely not as good as like doing it on a normal winter tot world, but um, it is interesting, and I've never done it before, so, um, I thought, well, let's make a video about it. So, I actually already uploaded a YouTube video today, but, so this is gonna be, like, a guide walkthrough thing, because I'm gonna do it, basically, as it's going through. Hopefully there's no one on this world. Good, okay. So, um, I'm gonna bring you guys through doing, uh, a solo Wintertide kill. Whether you're an iron, and uh, I know I, some irons, especially low-level irons, like to do this, but um, I'm just going to do it anyway. So, uh, the first thing you need, obviously, is concoctions uh, and brews, so we need food. Um, so, uh, I just did take five, so I'm not going to need this many, but um, I might as well... Uh, I guess I'll only do two for right now. Um, so... One of the key things, I'm getting hit a lot actually, so it's good that I brought this many brews. So the main key thing that you want to do when you're doing a solo winter tod is um, you want all the braziers lit. So you want as many braziers lit as possible. So that's the main thing. And that's going to get you a lot of points as well. So uh, this time I'm actually going to try to get 1350, which is like the max in terms of rewards. So um, I'm going to go for 1350 here. So... Uh, as you can see, the percentage is already going down, so you don't need to actually feed the brazier to uh, have it like go down in health. So uh, while all the braziers are lit, I'm gonna chop because there's nothing else I can really do. Um, I could pick more sprouting roots, but uh, I'll get some logs in my inventory and fletch them as well, so I get some extra XP. But uh, yeah, I like how when you're chopping and you get damaged, it doesn't interrupt the chopping. But uh, pretty much with every other action in terms of Winter Todd, it does interrupt it. So uh, you just got to be aware of that. So I'll fletch them. Hopefully I don't get interrupted too much. I hate when I get interrupted. Excuse me. I'm taking damage while I'm fletching. But all right. So this Brazier needs to be lit again. And I'm zoomed like out far enough so I can see all the Braziers. So if one gets burned out, I can see it. So it's already down to like 73, so I mean this is pretty, it's going like clockwork here, so pretty happy about that. I found last time that as I got deeper into the kill, um, the more of the braziers went out, so I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if the winter tide gets like quote unquote enraged or something, but um, I just found that that was the case. So I'm going to use some of my kindling now, keeping an eye out for the braziers. Uh, definitely have enough concoction here, I think, to a rejuvenation potion to heal the pyromancers when I need to, because I will need to, uh, for sure. Well, most likely, but, uh, yeah. So, it's going pretty well here. Alright, I'll get some more wood. Keeping an eye out for the Braziers. All right, so fix this one and relight it. Eat a little bit, do some fletching. All right, that one needs to be fixed, so we'll run over there. Ah, convenient. We'll relight this one. Oh, the pyromancer needs to be healed. Okay, so I'm just going to use my rejuvenation potion on him and relight it. Uh, to make the rejuvenation potion, you need to pick these sprouting roots and mix them with a concoction that you can get at the entrance of the Winter Todd cave. So, just so you know. Uh, so that one's broken and Pyromancer might be down as well, so we're gonna hop over here. Unfortunately, you need to click on every all of these things, so you can't just like hop over with one motion. Which kind of sucks, but is what it is. Rejuvenation potion. Light the brazier. Uh, okay, that one's down as well. Maybe we can do some more chopping. But most of my points are going to come from lighting the braziers. 
because uh, that gives you a lot of points. I'm not, how much does it give you? We'll see next time. All right, let's light this one. So I'm at 710 right now. So I'm going to go from 710 to 735. So it's only 25. So, uh, well, that's how much you would get from using a kindled wood on one of the braziers. So I suppose it's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to fletch for a little bit here. Maybe until I get interrupted or until I finish the inventory. I have to heal this guy. And now I can fix the brazier and light it again. I like the big XP drops. I, I really like that part of it as well. Uh, and I like how it's multiple skills. Like it's actually agility, construction, fire making, all in one. So good. We'll go over back over here. So keeping the braziers lit, I think, is the most important part. We're gonna heal this guy. Oh, something I did forget to bring is stamina potions. I think I have one more uh, like heal left, or one more uh, stamina boost left in my max cape, which is uh, lucky for me. But next time I will bring stamina potions. So I would definitely recommend uh, having a couple of those in your inventory if you do want to do a solo winter Todd. All right, so. Let's see, can I stamina boost again? Nope, I already have. So I might, <laughs> hopefully I can kill it before. Uh... Before I run out of stamina, we'll see. I might not have to keep all the braziers lit. We'll see, we'll see. I'll light that, we'll run over here. We'll run out of run energy if I run over there. So we'll light this one and then we'll feed the brazier my kindling and that might finish it off we'll see might not we might have to go back over here and relight it All right, so I'm going to run out of run energy, unfortunately. But uh, I think we should still be able to finish it off. I go back this way. Two percent. So after I light this one, it should be pretty much done. We're at sixteen fifteen points, and there is the kill. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide slash video. It wasn't that great, but um, I do want to put it on YouTube because uh, I think it's pretty cool actually, and I think I can see myself doing more of this in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something, and I will see you later.